Okay, welcome back. This is part 11 of my complete upload site tutorial series. And in the last video, we continued on with our uh, login, uh, our login, our user login, and uh, we've uh, started our actual uh, scripting with PHP, and we've checked to make sure that a username and password have been supplied correctly, and so if you can really type in anything at this point, and all right, so all right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this echo inside of here, and we're going to <coughs> sorry, uh, inside of here we're going to uh, connect to our database, which we are going to connect using a connect.php file, which I have yet to create. So I'm just going to create this inside of. Why not? I'll just create it inside of the design folder. So connect.php. And we're going to open it up. Now, inside of here, you can just highlight everything by pressing Control A or Command A on a Mac. And we're going to type in our PHP code. So we're going to connect to our database. Oh, sorry. So we're going to say MySQL. SQL underscore connect. Now, if you're using Dreamweaver, you can see Dreamweaver automatically has this pop up. So, the first thing your uh, connect statement needs three parameters your host name, your server name, uh, your username, and your password. Which, in this case, I am using localhost. And my username is root. And my password is simply password. And that is because I film tutorial series and I don't want to show you guys my password. Um, so the next thing we need is we need to select our database. So MySQL underscore select underscore DB and you can see if I backspace this you can see right here the database name that uh, uh, Dreamweaver throws up there. So the database name that we created is upload site or at least that's what I called it. There's no four. Angry. There we go. So this script connects to our database. So that's really all we need to type in there. That's really all we'll ever open that for. So in here, we're going to require, and this is going to be our uh, connect file, which is inside of the design folder and it's called connect.php so right there so that connects to our database now what we need to do is we need to create a query and we're just going to call it query and we're going to set it up inside of a variable so we're going to say mysql underscore query and right here so our query is the first thing we're going to run for our query is to make sure that a username is found um, inside of the database. So we're going to say select we'll say select star or asterisk uh, which means select all from our database table right here which is called users and then we're going to say where username equals right here and this is our user variable so dollar sign user and then we're going to say and uh, password equals our dollar sign password, so our password variable. Now, before we do this, what we need to do is we need to encrypt our password because we've already inserted it into our database using the MD5 encryption. So we'll just say MD5, and in here we just type in dollar sign password. So we're going to encrypt our password variable and we're going to store it in. The password variable so it'll automatically encrypt it so what this does our query here it's going to select everything from our users table inside of our database where the username equals the username that's that uh, whoever is using your form typed in and the password they typed in now if these are correct uh, we're going to need to uh, actually log the user in and everything and create our sessions so we're going to run we're going to uh, create another variable called numrows and we're going to set it equal to mysql underscore num underscore rows 
Now what this does is it simply gets the number of rows that are returned for our query. So you just type in your query variable. And we're going to say if uh, dollar sign num rows uh, equals equals 1. So if the number of rows that are returned is equal to 1, which means that one user was found with the username and password, which means the username is found. Uh, and we're also going to put in an else. So if the username is not found with the correct password, we're going to simply echo, and we're going to say, better yet, I will just copy this so we have our center, and we'll say, uh, username not found with that password I guess that's what we'll say username not found with that password or better yet we'll say no username found with that password so if the username is not found inside of our database table which right now the only one in here is basic nick um, so if the username is not found with the password that is in here, which in this case is just password, um, then we're going to display this error. Now if the username is found, that means that correct information has been supplied, which means we're going to actually log the user in. So we're going to type in session underscore start, and just like this. So this is physically starting our session. Now this uh, website is going to be session based so after a little while uh, each user will automatically be logged out which actually it might be when they leave uh, the page or the website for that matter. Uh, so yeah so right here uh, we're going to or actually better yet we will get the actual username of the date of the username is uh, supplied we will get the actual username from the database so what this will include is it will include uh, all capital letters instead of just the lowercase letters that the user probably typed in so we'll get the actual thing so like if I typed in basic Nick with all lowercase it'll get when we uh, when we do what we're about to do is it'll get the capital B and the capital N so we're gonna say uh, dollar sign rows or yeah we'll say rows equals mysql underscore fetch underscore asoc or associative so we're going to be using an associative array and right in here we're just going to put our query or yeah we'll put our query so our query now we're going to say uh, db user so the database username is equal to dollar sign rows and then brackets semicolon and inside of our brackets we have our quotation marks so we're getting the actual username from the database and we're also going to get the ID from the database so we're getting the username and the ID from